I doubt Sam Mitchell's number one ability is around the clearance and contested possession. He is very strong through the body, but he is very short. He's got a low centre of gravity. I think that's a great trait to have to be an elite on baller and clearance machine like Sam is. One thing he always does around the stoppages is free his hands up as he's getting tackled. He then has the ability and the awareness to put the ball out into space and put his teammates into a better position in an uncontested situation so they can deliver the ball forward. Three hundred games of football, premierships, Peter Crimmins medals, all Australians. He went he's gone so close to win Brownlow medals. Yeah. Off the top of my head I would think he's what, three times second? Four or five times top five. I mean he's just been a phenomenal player. By the end of this season he will have the most Brownlow votes of an individual. Surpassing Gary Dempsey. Yep. One one thing about Mitchell that I liked when I first saw him was he's not fast. He was probably a little bit tubby when he started. And we were moving into a, a, a sphere of running players and the game was moving into a sphere of running players and, and Mitchell reminded me and reminded everyone that um, you know what if you've got a really good football brain you can play this game and he is the modern day Greg Williams. Yeah so David Parkin has always measured him has with he? Greg Williams and yeah. I, I'm sure I'm right when I say that David has him now ahead of Greg oh, Williams does he really? in all that he's achieved and his longevity and those the, the skillful hands, the way he's always been able to extract the ball out of a pack, is I think he has him as his uh, as his better. Hand. Um, you know, thinking about where you've been, where you've come from, people who've helped you achieve along the way, and um, you know, that that chance to reflect, I guess. Uh, and join some pretty elite company. The whole journey has been you know, ups and downs and ups and downs and uh, we've been up for a little while now. Uh, I guess when you go back to when Clarko first came and we sort of completely changed the culture of the place, it took a long time and a lot of hard work. And I guess um, when, I, when I leave, um, the legacy that we'll leave you know, is an improved culture, a place that you know, if I, my son ends up playing footy, I'd be really proud if he came into a culture like what Hawthorn has now. And, uh, that that's a good that's a good place to leave it. Whereas I maybe wouldn't have been able to say that when I first got here. So having an influence on the change of culture, which I think will be here for um, a lot longer after I'm finished, I think that's probably my the proudest big picture.